yeah, instead of doing it off camera, I'll do it on camera, and if it turns into a disaster, maybe I won't post this video, which I really have posted virtually every video I've shot, except for ones that have technical problems. There's been very few of those. <laughs> all these technical problems I'm dealing with all the time, actually. So, let's start. I'm up in what I believe is the top band and it should go all the way from 6 to 20. And I'm in the middle. Somewhere around 9. Just to add the confusion. There we are. 11. No way, this is a band spread band. This is one of the band spread ones. I can tell by how much turning I gotta do. Hey, so I should be able to recognize the non-band band spread one. Okay, so that's the top one. Next one down. Somewhere in the middle. Now, if this is band spread, turning the radio tuning a little bit will result in a large deviation in the received frequency. So. This is another band spread band. I'll go down one more. There. Somewhere in the middle. Turn the signal up. Somewhere in the middle. So this might. So if this is. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's below nine. Tune it up higher. No, it's lower. Tune it up higher. Oh, there it is. Now this one's very sharp. As I tune a little bit. Okay, so this is band C. Maybe part of my confusion is the fact that I expect the bands to be kind of staggered, you know, a low, a medium, and then a high, and they often do this with band spread, band spread, and then the high one is not band spread. In this case, it's, can you see both my hands here? <laughs> In this case, it's, this one, the band spread, <laughs> I can't position my hands here. Okay, the band spread one is here. And the two other bands are inside of it. And that's probably what's been throwing me off, because I didn't expect that. I also didn't expect it to go uh, push button, band A, band C, and then two unlettered bands, there is no band B. I mean, that, that's not helping me at all. Not helping. But I think we got it under control. Now, this is band C, free from the top. So at the top of this band, Top of this band, we should be up around 20. Let's go up there. Up around 20. But come on, little radio. Maybe I'm at the wrong end. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll go down to the other end, which should be around six. What's that? Okay. 
Is that it? Okay, I'm going to go to the other end and tune in. Too. What's happening there? about halfway. 9.5 halfway. I'm just crawling my way up to the top of the van. Wow, it's really moving now. Just a little touch of the control really jumps up. Boost up the, the power here. Looks like we'll make it to 20. Something's getting stronger.
that's kind of weird. So I think what's happening there is the slightest turning of the tuning capacitor is uh, resulting in the radio going on and off frequency. And as I wiggle this knob, try as I may, I am, I am moving this. In fact, I can see it moving. Yeah. So I think the real noise we're hearing, the scratchiness, is coming out of that tuning capacitor. Think. Something a little something a little microphonic there. So that could just be because I tuned it. Yeah. Such a hair trigger. Okay. Let me punish it a little bit with some contact cleaner here. being fooled here by something. And that seems to clean it up a bit. I'm not really sure what it is we're hearing when we hear that scratchiness as I tune through it. I'm not sure. Anyway, I know this. We are definitely on the C band, finally. Okay, so let's tune to 28.5 on here. 28.5. So 28. So that'll be 28.5, just about there. And we should find there 17.7 Bible. There we go. Don't be fooled now. Very good, look at that. Okay, so there's one peak there. Another one here. And piggy there. Okay, so that guy there, 18.4. The other one is 17.4. The uh, so that happens to be exactly 900, or 455 twice. So one is the image, we won't worry about it. And that's what happens on these bands that are not spread. Uh, you have a lot of trouble with image, image uh, reception on them. So this should really be 17750. Okay, and the oscillator for C, I'm trying to remind myself here. 
the oscillator for C, C25. And C25 C25, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, C25. I never touched C25 before. Where is C? Oh, there it is. C25. And C oscillator right there. running into the string on the top of this radio because it's virtually invisible. This is the guy. Oh, it makes no difference. What are you telling me here? C, 17,750, supposedly. C oscillator, C25. C25, it's that thing, just below these three things. I'm hitting that string again. That, that noise you just heard, that woof woof, that's me pushing the string, causing the radio to retune. Wow. It's so hard to do this. Without causing a, a crisis. Yeah, you know what I did? I bumped the tuner. signal up too high. Ah, I keep bumping the string and that's enough to radio is so hair trigger. This is not going well at all. I think probably a better thing to do at this point is stop for lunch. <sighs> I figured this would be 15-20 minutes. I'd be out of here. Look at this. I've been doing this for how long? I must be pushing an hour. And uh, I'm still not sure what I'm doing here. Something mysterious is going on. I'll do better making a sandwich, I bet. Catch you later.